Hi students, uh, welcome to Santa Clara University. Uh, so today uh, we are going to uh, introduce about uh, the information systems and analytics uh, department. I want to uh, talk about uh, the major that we're offering. Uh, my name is Hai Bing Lu. Uh, uh, currently I'm the chair of the department of the information systems and analytics. Uh, today we also have uh, two wonderful students uh, joining us to share their perspectives about the study and the life at Santa Clara University. So we have Anne and uh, Kristen. So hi Anne, uh, could you uh, uh, introduce yourself to the coming students? Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Anne Nguyen. I'm from San Jose, California. I'm currently a junior studying management information systems and minoring in economics and business analytics. Thank you, Anne. So Kristen, can you introduce yourself? Yes, hello, I'm Kristen Burling. I'm from Fremont, California, and I'm currently a senior majoring in management information systems with a minor in music. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, so why study business at Santa Clara? So I would say uh, the Santa Clara is a wonderful community dedicated to the innovative learning and research. And we provide the solid business education with Silicon Valley's entrepreneurial spirit. So our curriculum you know, help to uh, transform people, ideas, and organizations. You know, we also allow the students to apply what they learn to the real life. Uh, the main difference between the Santa Clara University and other public schools is that all classes are taught by professors, uh, not a research assistants. And our professors I, can be easily accessible. Uh, if you see me in my office or in the hallway, just feel free you know, to, to say hi or ask me questions. And uh, we have a wonderful you know, a team of the faculty and also we have a wonderful students. Uh, Santa Clara also provides abundant opportunities. You know, we have a wonderful club and you know, organizations. We provide the, uh, awesome internship opportunities. We have a great uh, career fairs and also there's a lot of you know, research and you know, collaboration opportunities with our faculty. Now I want to uh, brag uh, about myself a little bit. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Hai Bing Lu. Uh, I uh, joined Santa Clara University in 2011, uh, right after I got my PhD uh, in information technology. Uh, Santa Clara University is my first job and uh, most likely it's gonna be my last job in my life. Uh, I would say uh, I'm a world-class uh, scholar. Uh, my research interest uh, is in the uh, business analytics and the information privacy. Uh, so far, I have published over 50 uh, well-cited research articles. Uh, my research has been uh, reported by the top medias, such as uh, Forbes, you know, World Magazines. And my research has been uh, generously funded by the major Silicon Valley uh, companies, such as Actana, Optimus Software, Jerry. And uh, also, you know, personally, I have uh, two uh, startup companies. I have one company called ML Research and Consulting. Another company is called uh, Data Justice Lab. So, you know, you know, I uh, joined uh, uh, a department of information systems analytics. If you are interested in any research topics, you know, feel free you know, to reach out to me. And I have many awesome research projects. I'll be very happy to get you involved in those projects. Uh, besides me, we also have many other wonderful faculties. Uh, we have a 16 uh, tenured and a tenure track of faculty you know, with PhD from those top schools, such as uh, Stanford, Wharton, and Columbia. We also have many wonderful uh, annual adjuncts uh, who are, uh, are, are VPs or CEOs at the bigger companies in the Silicon Valley, such as you know, we have people uh, from the, uh, who are the Google general manager. We have the VP of the Kaiser. Uh, we have the uh, general manager at IBM. So those people you know, provide uh, their uh, industry experience to the classrooms. So once you join the Santa Clara University, you will have the opportunity to work with those wonderful professors. Now about the, our department, the official name of the department is called Information Systems and Analytics. Uh, we have a major in Management Information Systems, and also we have a minor in MIS and a minor in the Business Analytics. We also have a joint major in the Accounting Information Systems. So what exactly is a uh, MIS major? I, I would say the MIS major in our uh, integrated two important areas. One is uh, technology. The other side is a uh, business. So in terms of the technology component, we cover lots of fundamental information technology skills, such as programming, uh, database management, 
information privacy, machine learning in our data analytics. And we also cover the fundamentals of the business, such as management, marketing, finance, and accounting. So uh, MIS really is integration of the both areas, which is critical to the, today's business. Uh, many students you know, came to me and asked uh, the question that, am I good for this major? You know, before you decide uh, uh, your major, you, will, you should ask yourself, am I comfortable with technology? Because MIS essential is uh, to apply the technology to solve the business problems. So first of all, you know, you make sure that you are comfortable with technology. But some of the students are, are concerned that I don't have any program experience. I don't know coding at all. Uh, can I take an MIS major? Yes, you can. As long as you have the confidence in yourself, you have interest in the technology, you know, the rest of the thing will live with us. You know, our professors will help you to gain those knowledge. And of course, you know, you have to have interest in the business. Many of our graduates, you know, started their own business, you know, after, you know, several years of the work experience. So once again, the MIS is to help you to gain the technology that's required to support the business. Some of the students also came to me to ask the question about the difference between the MIS and the computer science. Uh, you know, if we look at the curriculum perspective, well, yes, we do have a lot of a similarity, but you know, I would say the MIS and the CS are looking at the technology from the different, you know, uh, uh, angles. Let's just look at the database course. So if you are the CS major, now when you uh, take the database course, you know, your focus is how to, you know, write the efficient, you know, SQL query, how to the, uh, write the query that it can uh, retrieve the information, you know, quickly, okay? But if you are the MIS, you know, major, uh, your thinking will be different, okay? So your question will be, how can I write a design database or write the SQL query to uh, answer uh, the business questions? For example, how can I design a database that can support the online uh, shopping store? Now, how can I generate a SQL query that can answer the questions such as, you know, who is my loyal customers? You know, what kind of product I should design to fulfill this segment? As you can see that the main difference is that the MIS is trying to utilize the technology as a tool to support the business, to answer the business questions. So that's a main difference. So as we can see that the today's world you know, is, is filled with you know, modern technologies. You know, we have a new technologies coming out every day. So in order for you to succeed in the today's world, in order to facilitate the today's business, you have to master those technologies. So the MS is basically is a perfect you know, a bridge between the uh, computer science, computer science technologies and the business world. Now, in order for you to earn a major in MIS, you need to uh, fulfill all of the university or core curriculums, such as uh, mathematics, arts, ethics. Also, you need to uh, take all of the business or core courses, such as accounting, management, marketing, and finance. On top of that, you need to take the MIS major courses. So for the MIS major, we have uh, four required courses, into the programming, database, systems analysis, and uh, system programming. And uh, also, you need to take uh, three electives. So we have a wonderful list of the electives. Now we have courses such as web programming, social media analytics, data analytics with Python, uh, applied machine learning, and then we'll keep expanding this elective list because we want to you know, uh, make a core curriculum that is uh, uh, aligned with the Silicon Valley trend. Uh, some, of, some of the students are concerned about uh, you know, so many courses that you need to take uh, to fulfill the MIS major. Don't worry, once you join here, we have the peer advisors, and uh, we, all, we also have the faculty advisors. We will help you to plan your courses. So everyone is able to graduate in four years. So don't worry. Now look, uh, let's look at the, uh, our career perspective. So according to the, a recent uh, study from the Bureau of the Labor Statistics, so we are expecting 11% of job growth in the next 10 years for the MIS graduates. And the MIS graduates you know, with about five years work experience is expected to make about 142,000. So that's a pretty impressive number, isn't it? So now, again, you know, the salary is not, it's just one dimension of the education. So MIS major also provides you many opportunities, provides you many uh, angles to look at this world. Uh, our MIS major also have a very good rank rankings. 
So according to a recent U.S. News World Ranking, so our MIS major is ranked 14 uh, nationwide. Uh, in terms of salary, our ranking is uh, a fourth uh, nationwide. Oh, that's very uh, impressive. So uh, in addition to the uh, wonderful faculty and the awesome curriculum, we also have many resources for you. We have an entrepreneurship program. We have ICA student network. We have an information systems connection club. So those uh, are programs that will help you to uh, get a connection so to the Silicon Valley companies, to the internship opportunities, and the career fairs. So uh, you look at the uh, career opportunities. You know, after you graduate with MIS degree, you know, there's many things that you can, you can do. You can be a business analyst. You can become the systems analyst. You can become the information system manager, program manager. And actually, because I teach the programming, many of my students, you know, become the web or mobile developers for companies like Google and Facebook. So it depends on your interest. You know, there's many uh, potentials, many uh, possibilities for your career. And a lot of big companies are hiring our uh, graduates. So our graduates go to eBay, uh, Google, Facebook, uh, uh, Cisco, Oracle, uh, Airbnb. So there's a plenty of the job opportunities here at the Silicon Valley. So in closing, so I would say our uh, MIS major you know, prepares students you know, to be a critical thinkers who are innovative, are creative, analytical. So here, you know, I've summarized the, uh, the, the department and the curriculum and the, the necessary information you know, for you to succeed, succeed at Santa Clara University. But this is just you know, from the faculty's perspective. Now you probably want to get some you know, uh, information or perspective from the students, your peers. So I'm gonna turn to our wonderful students. I'm gonna ask them you know, some questions so that you can get some insights from their perspective. Uh, so uh, Anne, I have some questions for you. So uh, could you uh, tell us about uh, why you come to Santa Clara University and why you choose the MIS major? Yeah, so in researching Santa Clara, specifically the business school, I found out that students do not have to be declared. They don't have to declare their major into their second year of college, which means we can take a lot of introductory classes, such as, as Mr. or as Professor Liu mentioned, um, marketing, economics, finance, accounting. We all have to take these required um, introductory courses to see, to gauge what major we really want to take. Um, I chose specifically MIS because I took a class called OMIS 34. It gave me a small insight into what the major can do and what I can do in my career. In addition to that, Professor Liu alluded to the point where it's the bridge between computer science and the business realm. My dad and my sister both majored in computer science and I didn't really know if I necessarily wanted to go into that field. So when I found out about Santa Clara having this major, I knew it was the perfect choice for me. Thank you, Anne. So, uh, Kristen, could you share with the coming students about uh, why you come to Santa Clara, why you choose the MIS major? Yes, so I knew I wanted to go to school in the Bay Area, and I was really drawn to Santa Clara because of the close connections and ties that they had to Silicon Valley companies. Um, the reason that I chose MIS specifically as my major was because I always had an interest in code, but I had absolutely no prior experience in it. So this was a chance for me to understand the basics of code and the framework that goes behind it and what goes into database management systems and ERP systems and that sort of thing. Um, I think it's super interesting and it's a lot of hard skills that I feel are best learned in a classroom compared to soft skills that could be learned in the field or on the job. So I thought that having that classroom experience for this field of study would be super ben beneficial. And MIS is ubiquitous. It's in every company, everyone needs it. And so it would really allow me to explore whatever industry I may be interested in because when you first enter college, chances are you don't really know exactly where you wanna be five years, four years in the future. So it allowed me that flexibility as well. Thank you, Krista. So uh, Anne, uh, I know that uh, you are involved with many organizations and clubs at Santa Clara. Can you share your experience with the coming students? 
Yeah, so I'm a part of three organizations on campus. The first is Sports Business. I'm actually the VP market of marketing for that club. It's basically a club that intersects sports and business. Um, we were actually supposed to tour the Warriors Chase Center this quarter, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we we're unable to do so. But there we were going to get a tour of the stadium itself and just a brief overview of the day in the life of a um, Warriors team member. In addition to that, we have guest speakers that come in. We actually had 49ers, um, Vice President, Executive, of operations come in and talk to us. We had someone from the A's, Franklin Lowe, come talk to us. So there are many opportunities to network in the sports industry using that club. I'm also in Alpha Kappa Psi, the professional business fraternity on campus. In that organization, we undergo a six week educational program where we learn things such as how to build a resume, um, how to clean up your LinkedIn, interviewing tips, um, public speaking, just a bunch of tools that you can need that you need to get ahead in the business realm. And lastly, I'm in the ISN student network. That is the MIS major club. We have representatives from different companies come in. For example, this year we had a PWC data analytics workshop where a representative came in and taught us the data visualization tool called Tableau. Um, we also host an annual hackathon, which is a 24 hours free coding event where students can come in, um, create their own team, or we can make a team for you if you have no one. Um, and then after 24 hours, you have created a project, you've created an idea, and you pitch it to a judge for a cash prize. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right, uh, students. So, so far we've shared the, the perspective from the faculty perspective and the students' uh, perspective. And I hope, you know, you get the information that you need. And if we have questions, you know, feel free and, uh, to reach out to us. So here's our emails. Feel free to email to us if you have any questions. And also you can visit our website for the, for the more information.